My name is Alexia Velasco and I am not a gifted student. So in the third grade, my teacher really liked me because she liked that I read a lot and she recommended me for the gifted program. And I took the test and I didn't pass. I got to middle school and in seventh grade, I guess there was too many kids in the honors program. They like filled up the classes too much and I had always tested high in like my FCATs and my FSAs and stuff like that. So they bumped me up to the gifted program for one class, which was language arts. And I was happy just because it seemed like I was gonna be doing a whole bunch more work in the honors class than I ended up doing in the gifted class. So sometimes I feel like I was snubbed just cause I've heard from other people that the gifted program is like a bunch of projects and it's like a lot more hands-on learning and I feel like I would have benefited from that. But I didn't, I'm not lacking because I wasn't in it. I'm still gonna get into a college most likely. So who knows? I think, I think I'm fine. My name is Jason Lucky. I'm the gifted support advisor for people with last names M through Z. It's always great in such a large campus of over 4,800 students to have another person looking after you. So I think that's the largest benefit is uh, students having the ability to come see us whenever they want, having the learning lab open for them to come and use it anytime they want. My name is Cindy Hatton and I am the gifted support teacher here at Cypress Bay High School for students with the last name A through L. I feel that the benefits of the gifted program are different in er each and every school. And here at this school, we have a special area where they can come in and have special social time, which I feel that's very important for them. And they can come to the learning lab to use the computers, print things that they need to print, and do some research. I'm Estefania. I've been in the gifted program since third grade. Hi, my name is Alana Beaver. I've been in the gifted program since third grade. My name is Alexa and I've been in the gifted program since second grade. I'm Lucy and I haven't been in the gifted program. I'm Alex and same. I'm Amanda and I was but I'm not anymore. Free coffee. <laughs> Free coffee. I don't even take a advantage room. of that. A full room. I'm going to go off for a sec. Okay. I don't so. get why <laughs> gifted kids are offered free tutoring instead of non-gifted kids. So if they're at such a disadvantage that they can't be labeled as gifted, why aren't they the ones receiving free tutoring? It's like, why would they want to propel people that they've already deemed better and more? Yeah. Because yeah. it kind of seems like they're destined to be just like more than like those that aren't gifted. And it's like, what are you implying with that? Like, what kind of message are you setting forward if it's like, these kids have the upper hand in every single like situation offered? Then again, that might just be like a school policy and not just like a gifted policy. That might just be an issue with like the school's gifted program and not like the whole gifted program as a whole. But I definitely see where you're coming from because that is like really unfair. I'm Nico Garcia Bonavici and I am a senior at Cypress Bay High School. I am a gifted student. It was like really weird because even though it was elementary school, like I still remember that a lot of the gifted kids thought they were better than the other kids. Especially at recess, the gifted class, because it was only one class, it was like 20, 30 students. They all tended to like stay together and they didn't really mingle. And I don't think there's any specific traits that they show. I think maybe they learn in different ways. Um, they think a little bit different, a little bit more outside the box. Um, other than that, they're regular, wonderful students. Yeah, I remember when I was in like Falcon, like 50 kids would walk around, they're like, we're so much better. And I was like, what? Like, stop, not all, okay, you guys, like, that was just, like, the kids who thought there was better. No, it's so, I totally remember people, I never did it, but I remember my peers would be like, oh my god, we're gifted, like, we're so Or, like, cool. you, you yeah. can see, like, somehow, oh my like, god. the teachers are kind of, like, treat the other, and, like, I guess that's, like, somewhat of a disadvantage to the gifted kids, too, because, like, when it, you're in middle school and you're in the gifted program and your teacher's, like, let's say you do bad on the test because you're not getting it that day, like, the teacher's, like, like, why would you do bad, you're in gifted, like, they expect more from you, so I never saw, like, that, but, like, I can see how it's at a disadvantage for you guys, too. Yeah. I never had that. That, like polarity like no one was like you're gifted like really? I don't know it just oh, yeah. wasn't I like did. I was probably just, like, didn't casually going on probably yeah. that was probably what it was <laughs> you know how regular children are more like chillaxed no but like, definitely. we don't we have like less stress too. Yeah. and like gifted kids have more, more pressure going. on them yeah or I remember which was like really mean people would always be like oh my god I can't believe that they're in gifted because they're so stupid <laughs> and, uh, and I was did like, you like that is so <laughs> no it's not because <laughs> people were like we, I would hear like kids sitting at my lunch table and they'd be like oh my god did you hear what she said for the thing today like that was so stupid how is she with us and I was like how is she with oh us what are you talking about <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know about clear difference. Uh, you could see some character traits that might be different in each student, but not in all gifted students. You wouldn't, walking down the hall, you wouldn't know who's gifted, who's not, because they're unique in their own way, but they're just like everybody else. I honestly don't think there are any differences between gifted and non-gifted students. Not really. Um, here at Cypress Bay we have so many advanced placement classes and honors classes that kind of all goes together. Honestly, I think gift is just like a label. Like they're just like kids who want to uh, challenge themselves themselves more. That's how I think of it. You can challenge yourself in a different way and not being gifted. I can definitely be taught. I mean, I don't think gifted is even really a thing. It's just the way that you thought when you were a child, I guess, but any way of thinking can be taught. I believe that it's innate. I think that when you're born, um, a lot of that's just comes with the, <laughs> the genes. Uh, I think it's innate. I, I do. I, I think uh, being a great student can be taught, but mm -hmm. giftedness is innate. Overall, I think it's just conditioning. Yeah, no, I don't think like giftedness is a thing, but I definitely think that like the, the things that they teach in gifted can be taught to other students. Uh, I think it absolutely benefits them uh, with so many different resources that we can give them. It's absolutely an advantage for them. I think just the fact that the gifted program exists is a huge disadvantage for all the kids that aren't in the gifted program because you're putting all the best teachers with the best certifications and probably the best, the better at least teaching style or the more effective teaching style are put with all the kids that probably don't need it because they're quote unquote gifted. I think the gifted program could become much more of an advantage to everybody if we all were taught that way from a young age. It kind of sucks that the gifted program exists. I don't think it's all that necessary.